good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v we look at romans chapter 6 verse 6 romans chapter 6 and verse 6 he says knowing this that our hold man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that ends what we should not serve sin verse 7 says for he that is dead is free from sin so when we look at chapter 6 and verse 6 we see that the hold man the nature of adam was crucified so that sin might not reign as a tyrant that we might not be knocked out as it were by sin same chapter 6 verse 14 tells us for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace so we acknowledge and we realize that we are not helpless captives because of sin now the practical exhortation that we are trying to hear to say that we have become righteous not in our own standing but because we are positionally standing in Christ and therefore the scripture says we should not let sin reign in our mortal bodies by obeying its evil desires at Calvary the reign of sin was ended by death now we must make it practical it's with our cooperation God can make us fully holy but he will not do so without our willing involvement and as we say we have to will or will to be obedient to God and to do his will when we look at chapter 6 and we look at verse 13 what does it tells us it says neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God so here we are saying it brings us to what the present he says we must not present our members or our bodies to commit sin to be used as weapons or tools of wickedness or obligation is to turn the control of our members or our lives over to God to be used in the cause of righteousness after all we have been raised as the scripture says to life from death by what Jesus Christ himself did for us at the cross of Calvary in chapter 6 and verse 4 for the Bible says we should walk in newness of life it says therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness of life why should we walk in newness of life because we are the new creation all things are passed away and all things have now become new 
in verse 14 of um, Romans chapter 6. It says, For sin shall not have the dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Another reason given why sin shall not have dominion over us as believers. The first reason was that our old man was crucified with Christ, Romans 6 and verse 6. The second reason is that we are not under the law, but we are under grace. Sin does not have the upper hand over a person who is Sin does have the upper hand of a person who is what? Under the law. Why? Because the law tells him what to do, but doesn't give him the power to do it. And the law stirs up dominant desires in the fallen human nature to do especially that which is forbidden. It's the old story, as we will say, forbidden fruit is sweetest. Sin does not have dominion over the person who is under grace. The believer has died in sin. He has received the indwelling. The believer has died to sin. And has now received the indwelling of the Holy Spirit as the power for such one to live a holy life. Such one is motivated by love for the Savior and love for his fellow men. Not by fear of punishment. Grace is the only thing that really produces holiness. It is not restraint, but inspiration that liberates. Inspiration that sets free. Free from sin. Free from guilt. Free from condemnation. So we see it was not the law that was given at Mount Sinai that sets us free. But it's what Jesus Christ did at Mount Calvary, which makes us uh, saints. So today we can either be saints or we can either be sinners. It's can, it is either we choose the law or we choose grace. It's either we choose sin or we choose salvation. But we are always a part of this equation. And God wants us to cooperate. To cooperate with who? With him and what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross of Calvary. To turn from sin to grace. To turn from condemnation to justification. Today is not late. He says, this day, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. And salvation is still at your disposal. And Christ has given the invitation. And that invitation is to the whosoever will, which includes everyone. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. And may God continue to bless the you.